Today in this video tutorial, we learn about application lifecycle of Windows 8 Metro style apps. Let's start with the discussion followed by a small example. When a process is not running and the user activates the process, the application comes to launch state that is the running state. This could be either because the application was never launched or it was suspended but removed from the memory. When the user moves that application to the background or the device enters to the low power state, the application suspends itself. While pushing the application to the background, the system waits for few seconds to make sure that the user doesn't want to switch back to the application immediately. After that few seconds time interval, the system automatically moves the suspended application. During the transition, you may want to store the unsaved data to the storage device. You can also resume a suspended application from the memory and bring it to the foreground thread. During the state transition, it loads the application data if you already saved during the suspended state. This is called as resume state. If you don't want to resume and the application memory available memory is low, the system will terminate the unused application itself. This is how the application lifecycle works. Let us discuss the application lifecycle with a small example. When a user launches the first application, it comes to the running state. When the user launches the second application, the first application moves to the suspended state and the second app comes to the running state. Before going to the suspended state, the application which was in running state waits for few seconds to check whether the user intentionally wants to relaunch the first application else it moves to the suspended state. So in that case, the second application which comes to the running state pushes the first application to the suspended state. Similarly, when the user launches the third application, the second app which is currently in the foreground moves to the background and moves to the suspended state and the third app which comes to the running state. When the user wants to relaunch the second app which is currently in the suspended state, the third app goes to the suspended mode and the second app comes to the running state. Let's come to a situation when you have less memory and your system cannot handle all the suspended state in the same memory. When the user launches the fourth application and your system doesn't have sufficient memory, it notifies a low memory notification and the system quickly checks which application is currently in suspended state and not used by the user for a long time. It finds that the application 1 which was in suspended state was not used by the user for a long time. It terminates that application and the fourth application which is currently coming to the running state comes to the foreground and the second app which was currently in the running state moves to the suspended state. This is how the application lifecycle works in Windows 8 Metro style apps. Thank you so much for attending the video tutorial. Here is my technical blog URL where you can find lots of article, tutorials, news, tips and tricks. Also like my Facebook page to be connected with me. I am also available on Twitter. You can find me at kunal2383. Thank you.